Ya a empezar. Well, well, well. Hey, we're back. You miss us? <laughs> Did you guys miss us? <laughs> um, you notice anything, anything different, Gilbert? Hmm. I don't know. Another look around. The vibes are a little bit different. Yeah, they are different. Yeah. Got yeah. Uh, sh- shelf. A little muebles over here in the back. <laughs> muebles. <laughs> Got a sofa. Sofa. Uh, some plants. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the vibe's a little bit different. We got uh, a, a, a coffee, coffee table, table uh, extra chairs on the yeah. side. For the guests when, they, the when they show up. For the future guests. Yeah. What's going on over here? I think, I think it's an upgrade. It looks like an upgrade. What? <laughs> an upgrade of space? Space, yeah. We're no, Whoa. We're no longer in that cold, you know, room. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Um, it was cold over there. It was cold. It was really cold, man. When it was blanket. cold, it was cold. And <laughs> when it was hot, it was hot. Yeah. 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 I mean, humble beginnings. Yeah, a lot it of made, memories. It kept us grounded. It kept us mm-hmm. humble. Yes. Um, I dig it. Like, like I like that where we're at. Mm-hmm. Um, Me too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot more comfy. Yes. A lot more comfy. Safer environment. Yeah. Yeah. Over there, we always heard the the, the police, man. Every single night, man. <laughs> you know, one day it was going to be us. <laughs> one day it was going to be us. <laughs> it was going to be us, guys, on the news, you know. Shade of Brown. Yeah, yeah. man. Uh, we're here. Yeah, we are. Yeah. So, uh, you know what? <laughs> that's what? That's what we That's what that's, we missed. There we go. Yeah. That, that is a, it's a, it's a shade of brown staple yeah it's like that stays mm-hmm. with us bro it does it does, it does that that's what it is bro mm-hmm. but uh yeah. how you how you how do you feel gilbert how do you feel about this new space we're at we're comfortable bro i can I put feel, my feet you up can there. put his leg over there. i can I put my feet over here but i won't you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna break the furniture yeah I don't but i to break it bro but i feel good man you know like i was honest didn't like it is a lot safer here <laughs> <laughs> you know, because over there, like, you'd hear the, the cops, the ambulance, there's a liquor down the street. Like, you never know what could happen. That, yeah, that liquor store that was down the street was pretty, pretty hood. It was yeah, tough, right? Bro. Yeah, it was active. Um, At our old location, mm-hmm. it was, like, kind of like, um, como se dice, like, not, where, like, where it's uh, how you say populated area? Yeah, it's, it's pretty. It's, it's pretty, pretty lonely. Yeah, it's pretty lonely because it was just businesses. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you really didn't see nobody else, and the whole time it was just us. Yeah, you know. But over here, it's kind of still like that. Yeah, but, but it's more populated. Yeah. But we're, we're in the west side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so, safe over Yeah, here. those who know west side of Palmdale. Yeah, west side, safe side of safe side of Palmdale. Don't want to uh, give away the location. Just yeah. just west side Palmdale. West that, side that's Palmdale. it. That's how you're getting. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, we yeah. don't want paparazzi coming here, you know. Yeah. So um, <laughs> yeah, it it, it was uh, a little sketchy where we mm-hmm. were. Um. Not to talk shade, but like a, a dude got shot at that yeah. liquor store. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of sketchiness, bro. Yeah, a lot of stuff, a lot. man. We, sometimes we would have guests over and it would be like a little iffy, you know, yeah, coming the, inside. Yeah, they'll look around and like, oh, I they'll hope call it's safe. me, like, hey, I'm at the right spot. <laughs> Is this you it? Know? Yeah. It's and I, w- I would have to go outside and go basically walk them in. Yeah. Because they were a little sketched out. Yeah. But I mean, Ooh, but we're here. We here when it's safer area. Mm-hmm. Um, I dig it. Um, it's a it's a new it's a new chapter it uh, of Shade of Brown. Mm-hmm. New beginnings. New beginnings. New year. New, new chapter. Beginnings. New year. I said this last year when we when we 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 were at the other space for a full year, literally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I remember saying this when we I first remember. filmed. It, it literally it was in around February. Yeah. The, the funny thing, like how funny. We started recording in February at the other space. At the other location, yeah. <clears throat> when we modeled it and everything. Mm-hmm. And I literally said this, new year, new space. Yeah. But same me. Same <laughs> show, bro. Same show, yeah. At, at, at full circle. That has gone a full circle. That phase right there. Yeah. Literally a, a, a year exact. Mm-hmm. February 2nd, 2024. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Huh, that's yeah. funny. 
I know. I wonder where we'll be, where we'll be next year. Where, where will we be? Probably still here. <laughs> I mean, I like it here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we are uh, our own studio in LA, downtown LA. <laughs> yeah, but man, I like it, man. I love it, man. You know, you know, we're moving up. Moving on up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, um, some of you uh, would could already recognize this place. Mm-hmm. Let's not let's not kid ourselves. Um, <coughs> The homie Irvin, shout out to Irvin. Shout out to Irvin, man. There you go. Over at Pacheco Productions, yes, Inview Media, has uh, supplied us yeah, extend, with this space. Yeah, extended a helping hand, you know. Yeah, and uh, you know I'm very grateful for Irvin. He probably won't like me saying this, but God put him in my path. Yeah. Yeah, because I know I know Irvin, <laughs> and uh, you know he's a he's a little little uh, he, he 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 be try he tries to be tough sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Tough man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very direct, very blunt, <laughs> dude. He is know? very blunt. Yeah, uh, talks about business, about everything. Yeah, but it is what it is. I appreciate him so yeah, much. Same you know? here, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, but mm-hmm. um, shout out to Irvin. Yeah, shout him out, bro. We gotta take him out to some drinks sometime, man. We gotta yeah. thank him. He don't drink though, bro. Oh, well, turn him a call. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but also, yeah, we're here. Uh, what, what what drink do, do we got today, Gilbert? What drink today we got? Jack Daniels. You finished yours already. I finished mine. Yeah, like <sighs> Colico. I know, right? I just chugged it down. You know. And I saw how much alcohol you put in there. <laughs> half saw, the half the cup was alcohol, and half the cup I was saw cup. You, bro. My cup's like half, and but that's how much I filled yeah, it. That's how much you. I haven't it. drank half. You probably put like half a shot. Um, or like a somewhere shot. around there, yeah, somewhere around there. You know, to be surprised when it comes to Jack and Coke, I do. I got so used to drinking Pepsi and Jack that I prefer Pepsi and Jack. You prefer Pepsi? And yeah, because there's been times when I go out like to. I know, no, because <laughs> no. there's been times when I go out to like you know bars or something like we got Pepsi. Oh, we got Pepsi. <laughs> I'm like, whatever, man. Just give me Pepsi and Jack, and I guess I just got so used. So to you're it. Team Pepsi? I guess I am, man. I should be wearing a blue shirt, huh? Whack, bro. Yeah, I'm Team I Coke, know. bro. Really? Yeah. It, it, the original recipe is <laughs> Jack and Coke. It, it is. Yes, you don't hear is. someone saying Jack and Pepsi. Well, <laughs> when they were not a Coke, they go to Pepsi. <laughs> no, 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 you no, know. no, no, no. I know, guys. A lot of people are gonna, you know, hate me for that. But what's in that cup is Jack and Coke. The Jack though. and Coke. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. It came through. It, it, it tastes pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. First time we drink Jack and Coke on the pod. Yeah. At is. least for me. I think Did I, you drink it? I, I, I think I drink it one time at the other stew. Yeah. Yeah. When you were behind the scenes. Yeah, when I was behind the scenes. I never drink it on the camera. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> There'll be times back then when I used to drink a lot, man. You could ask them, man. Sometimes I'd be drinking like three mics, man. I was like, I was going to have to waste it. twisted. There you was know? days that you were twisted, bro. Yeah. You had your days, bro. Yeah. You were twisted too sometimes. <laughs> Probably once or twice you were twisted. Yeah. Once or twice. I forget the whole time once or twice. <laughs> yeah, at the yeah. at the old space, bro. We we've had a lot of memories. A lot bro. of memories, man. A lot of memories. Yeah. Funny memories, bro. Mm-hmm. Actually, now to come to think of it, we never really had like a like a a, a, a touchy like when someone's getting a little teary or crying. Oh yeah, we never we had never that. had we never had that, dude. And when you know? we used to record in my brother's room, mm-hmm. we did have a moment like that. Yeah, yeah, we did. But at the other space, no, we never did. We never did. Yeah, it I don't a, remember that at all. It was it was all fun and games. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's good to keep a positive vibe. You know. Yeah, we kept it positive. Yeah, but sometimes a touchy is necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's know? a roller coaster. It a roller it's coaster. a roller coaster of, of episodes, mm-hmm. and, and that's what I like about this whole thing. This yeah, whole yeah. podcasting. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, dude. But you know, I, I see a lot, a lot for us, man. Especially here, man. You know, guests are gonna feel more safe coming in. Yeah. You know, they be like, "Wow, look at this studio," you know. And then, to let you guys know a little, like, like, mm, like little, I don't know, little fun facts, I guess you could call it, like mm-hmm. about the old space. At the old space, bro. I, as much as I, I, I appreciate it and everything, um. The area wasn't very well insulated. Yeah. So, like, what I was saying is uh, when it'll get cold, it'll get, it'll cold. get cold. Yeah. And when it'll get hot, it'll get hot. Yeah, and so, sometimes it'll be spooky in there, too. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, like, if you go back to, like, old, like I don't know, 
the episodes that were dropped like summer last year, yeah. you could hear a fan in the background. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Hey, we're low key ghetto, man. Yeah, bro. We're, we're there freaking ghetto. sweating it up, bro. I oh, know, dude. Oh, shirtless in the background and all that, dude, man. Yeah. <laughs> those, those, we had a few episodes like that. And I tried my best to like eliminate the fan in the that background, did. but. Yeah. Well, necessary, man. We'll be sweating yeah. it up if we did, and especially with that leather couch. Yeah, the casting cap. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be getting up like <laughs> I know you get up all sticky, like you're uh. stuck to the couch, bro. Yeah, but uh, good times, good, good times. times. Now, now we got a little comfy couch. Love it. Yeah, and it's not leather. This is not leather. Yeah, it's not leather. Hay que cuidar las cosas, eh? Sí, verdad. Yeah. Los sacan de aquí si no cuidamos los corren. Los corren, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, too, like, oh, at the other spot, like, we got evicted. <laughs> <laughs> we got evicted. They kicked us out, man. We were they past due. Us out. Yeah, we were, like, 10 months <laughs> past our rent. Hey, a year past due. A uh, year past due. We, we never paid. <laughs> <laughs> we, never, we never put a deposit on the yeah. You but, know. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, we're here. Mm-hmm. We're here. It's it's an amazing, it's a good feeling. Mm-hmm. Good feeling. Yeah, good way to start a year, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Not, just bring it back one more time about the old space. What was like your favorite moment? My favorite moment at, at the, the old space? space? Yeah. There's, there's a lot. You there's know? a lot. There's like, a lot of good times. I feel like mm, yeah, there is a lot. Honestly, like I feel... Anthony Soto. Yeah. Remember we had to, did an episode of Anthony, <laughs> man? Mm. Yeah, I feel like yeah. that, was, that was my favorite moment because we obviously we did a lot of things before I started and after. So that's a good memory I have, you know? Yeah. You know, but... um. You know, so another memory too. That sometimes when like we hear noises, we'll stop the pot and be like, "Yeah, what the hell was that, man?" Like, yeah, yeah. I didn't remember one time when Mills Mini recording, and like a big, you know, uh, smack was in a in the warehouse in the back. <laughs> we got scared. Remember that? Yes. Yeah, but but yeah, like one time we remember we were recording. There was like a big huge smack in the back, and like it was like I think it was like the what is it the garage in the back? Yeah, the big like garage a big door. Slide up. Yeah. Yeah. I one time we got scared, dude. I feel like the ground shake too, man. And we we had a pause to go like kind of check it out, we'll see what was happening. I guess the they forgot to lock it or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was it with Anthony when the lights turned off? Yeah, it happened twice on the show when when the lights turned off. Twice. Yeah, it happened twice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Remember that? We we're like all tripping out, man. Well, yeah. I know why that happened because um, the thing was yeah covered. The, it was on the sensor. Yeah, the and sensor. it was covered. Yeah. So we were like, we were like, yeah, I know. We're trying. In the of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or that used to happen to me sometimes when I'd be in a break room at, at work. Like, go turn off a black. <laughs> and we look dumb trying to dumb turn, trying it to turn it back on. Yeah, yeah. What about you? I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure you had a lot. I had a lot. Um, yeah. You know, I'm gonna have to go with like the, the with Anthony, my boy Anthony. Uh, uh, those of that don't know, he's like my best, best, best friend. Mm-hmm. Um. Of course, he's up there. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, you know, honor mention, um, probably like those times where we were just like cracking up, yeah. dude. Oh, yeah. Those times, bro. Yeah. When, well, like, I wouldn't stop looking at you when you guys talk about the, the dad jokes and all that. Mm. You know, that, that, was, that was good. Good laughs, man. Good times, good times. Like, um, but one thing we did learn, though. Mm hmm. That it cost us a full episode. Yeah. And um, it was when the homie Christian, uh, Stay Fit, Stay Active, the first time he came. Yeah. And we blew it. Yeah, no sound. And uh, to this day, it haunts me. Oh, yeah. It haunts me to this day. Mm -hmm. Um, I wish there was some way I could, like, rescue that episode. Yeah, because it was so genuine, you know? (laughs) It was literally... Um, the other ex co hosts mm-hmm. agreed to, they were saying this too. Um, it was probably like the best episode we yeah, ever did. Yeah, I was there that day too. I, yeah. I loved it. It was a yeah. really good connection with Christian, man. But, well, he came back, but we made up for it. But, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, that's what that's what we go through is these trials mm-hmm. and errors, huh? Yeah, no, pretty much. Yeah, especially with all this elect- electric stuff, all this, you know, computer stuff. You know, it's always gonna be errors, man. Yeah, yeah. We try, we try our best and make sure everything's working, but then sometimes something might slip our mind. Yeah. Has that only happened once where we didn't have noise? That only happened once. Okay, good, you know. <clears throat> that was a yeah. one and one and only. But you know, we learn from our mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> it happens to everyone. I yeah. hear other podcasters, yeah. like, they forget to press record. Exactly. Or the they actually do record the, the, mm-hmm. the pod or the episode, mm-hmm. but the memory gets corrupted. Yeah. 
That sucks. That does suck, yeah. Yeah, because then it makes you... It, uh, that would piss me off. Yeah. Because knowing that, like, that's basically not my fault. Yeah. You know, it's not your fault, you mm-hmm. know, that's happened to you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, man. It's a lot, lot, a lot of memories, a lot of, you know, good and bad ones, you know. Good and bad ones? Yeah. You have like, bad ones? I feel like I had a bad one one time. What happened? You know, this is when... Uh, Ooh, let's get juicy. <laughs> what happened, bro? I feel like the bad one was... <laughs> I feel like um, this happened twice. Like, I guess you guys kind of, when it was used to be our old co-host, I guess you guys kind of put my hopes up on being in the pod one time, and I didn't come out. Then the other time, that's when I came on, I used to stay in the back, remember? Wait, 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 wait. So we we hyped you up. They hyped me up to be on the show. We're like, you know, you're going to be on the next show. We're going to do it. Oh, we get to you guys. As, as a guest? Uh, no, I think I, was, I, was, I think I just started being behind the scenes or something. No, no, no. It was as a guest. Okay. I wasn't there yet as the behind the scenes. Okay. I remember that whole day, dude. I was like, <laughs> but I'll go a lot to see you guys. And I, I'd go, and I was prepared. I even told my sister, I was like, you know, I'm going to be in a pod today. You know, we're going to do it. I was happy. And I see you guys tell me, we're going to have to cancel on you, man. And it was like, I think it was like an hour before. Really? Yeah. It happened a long time ago. And I think, yeah. We canceled on you? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. But I don't I, I don't know. I don't think I was behind the scenes yet. Or I think something tells me I kind of was starting to do the cameras and you guys promised me to be in the show. <laughs> then like uh, I you know I got I got low key I got disappointed. I was like, I went home, I was like, damn. And hey, my yeah. sister asked hey, me. Todo listo. Todo listo, man. Peinado, Peinado. Me corté el pelo, dude. I was like, oh my goodness. And I think I even told my sister, I was like, she's like, Oh, how'd it go? Did you get on? Like, I was like, um <laughs> I was like, um, no, nah, they didn't, I didn't get on. You know, they 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 changed up last minute. She's like, really? I was like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> <She's> like <laughs> I was like, <laughs> uh, <coughs> deflate on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think I yeah I think I was behind the scenes just starting. The next time that when you guys brought it up again, I, ISIS brought it up, and then I was on the on the on the camera. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah, so yeah, I guess you guys kind of made it up, you know. Damn. But even bro. that day, they were trying to get me to not come out. Remember. Then you got my back and you're like, no, you guys told them he was going to be on it. Remember that. Bro, there were so many episodes. I'm episodes. trying to remember. Yeah. I, you'll probably remember better because it was happening to you. Yeah, no, it happened, <laughs> it happened <laughs> to me, dude. I was hurt. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess you guys are kind of made up. I think that was a bad memory. But I, I think, like I said, I think I was just starting to be behind the scenes. Damn, you know? bro. Like, since you guys already had me there, you guys were prepared to have me on the on the camera, but as a wide angle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but then you guys, I think you guys just switched up. It's like, no, we're going to need you on the switcheroo. I was like, oh, okay, I see. Otra vez. Otra vez. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. But yeah, I think that's one of the bad memories. That only happened once. You know what? I'm sorry. It's okay, man. Hey, but look at you now. Yeah, look at me. Yeah. Look at that. We're, we're here, here right in a new space. Mm-hmm. Now we're on one angle. And then those two other guys are not even here anymore. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Let's talk <laughs> shit. <laughs> They're going to come beat us up, man. I know. They, they know where this spot they know is. Where, they, they know where we're at, man. They know where we're at too. So. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you never had no bad bad memories, huh? Bad memory. I, um, you know what? There's two. There's two. What was that? Sorry, guys. That was my stomach. You guys heard of that? Yeah. It's a stomach, man. Oh, that probably didn't pick it up, yeah, but I think I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> it was like his stomach was like. <laughs> it's, it's hungry, guys. I'm a, I'm a big guy, so like I was like, Ugh. um. Well, I have two, 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 one. Well, the the one with the with Christian. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that was a bad one. Yeah, that one. I was I was upset. Mm-hmm. Um, another one. I guess second place. I never mentioned this, and, and, and not to talk shade to my brother or anything, you know, like, he's my brother, I love him and everything, mm-hmm. but, like, one time, um, we had Irvin over. Uh, come over. Uh, mm-hmm. It was his first time. Oh, yeah. he, was a, he was a guest. It was the first time, and uh, I had a, a coffee table, and I, uh, I guess Isaiah wasn't watching, I don't know, his leg or something, like, hit mm-hmm. it, and it broke the leg. Oh, damn. And it fell over. <laughs> I mean, I didn't get too mad because um, You're like what the I, fuck? I, I, I did cheap bow on those on those coffee tables. They were cheap, bro. Yeah, it looks like they're made out of paper, bro. Yeah, they were cheap. That's why I didn't get too mad. I didn't get too upset. I just told them like, bro, just be careful. Be careful that's time. all I basically said. Well, that's why the leg was like that. 
I yeah. I noticed it, yeah. If you've been a guest in our pod and you notice like oh, yeah, on one of the like legs, this. <laughs> it's like this, dude. <laughs> you see like stapled guns stapled. on it. Yeah. I didn't see that, dude. That was me trying to fix it. Yeah, fix someone else's problem. And, and, if you, and if you pay attention on the video on some of the episodes, you see like on a corner, there's a bunch of stickers. Oh, that's where it was. Yeah. <laughs> that was me trying to cover trying it. Trying to cover it up. Yeah. yeah so it doesn't yeah. look as bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You covered up pretty well. I mean, humble beginnings, bro. You yeah. know, that's what it was, bro. <laughs> that's funny, though. Yeah, that, that happened. And like Urban was just there like, like mm-hmm. you know, like awkward because it was his first time. Yeah. Going. You know, <laughs> then sorry, I don't, uh, Urban. Yeah, but uh, that was another one. You know, it's because that was like the early days when we mm-hmm. first moved in at the other spot. Yeah, no, I remember that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, those those were one of my two two bad ones for two me. Bad ones, oh, yeah, it's not bad. but it ain't that bad. Though. Yeah, it's not too bad. Too like, just, yeah. see, there you go. Like, it's not like someone getting do, your hopes up. You know, doing this podcast, we never really had bad moments. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not really. No. We had more scary moments than, scary, bad, yeah, honestly, than bad moments. Yeah, dude. I thought every day we to go, man. I thought we we're going to get a shot up for sure tonight. <laughs> Someone's going to come in. And Sometimes we'll be recording late. Y pasaba the, the, um, oh, the, the street the, sweeper. The street sweeper, dude. Yeah. Bro, that was scary, yeah, bro. Yeah, scary. You're like, what the hell was that? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> good yeah, times. Yeah, good times, um, yeah. Good time, man. But yes, sir, man. I don't really want the whole episode be talking yeah, be about, about the, whole the, the whole place. Yeah, but uh, we 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 did an NGL. We did it for the NGL. first time of the year. Mm-hmm. The first one of the year. F- yeah, the first one of the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me let me drink my my little drink. Yeah, he wants to get tipsy on the show, you know. Mm-hmm. New spot. A new spot, bro. It's a, it's a little, kind of a celebration, but it's a little bit different. I can't get too lit over here, you know, because. <laughs> it's, it's casa ajena, bro. It's casa ajena. Yeah, yeah, we can't. We can't do Los that. Los corren. See, and they're not gonna give us our deposit back. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we did NGLs. Uh, we got two replies. I think. I think it was mm-hmm. two. I, it was last minute. Mm-hmm. So uh, let's let's get to it. Let's read them, bro. Vamos a ver los. A ver qué qué los dieron. So uh, first one is enough. Tell us what happened. Oh, they're talking about this. They're talking about, I think, um, it's talking about my other co-hosts when they left. Ah. And I guess we could probably touch on, like, the moving over here. Yeah? Yeah. I feel like it's more about, like, the guests that left. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, because not not too much context on it. It just says, enough, tell us what happened. You want to know the tea. (laughs) Um... I think we already talked about this on, on like, when the first time we recorded when it was just me and Gilbert. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I'll just, like, really, really quick, very quickly just to say it again. Um, mm-hmm. uh, our other co-hosts, uh, my brother and Anthony, my brother Isaiah and Anthony, they no, no longer could be part of Shader Brown. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> my brother, you know, personal things, um, you know. That I get it is more important, you know, family things, you know, he, he has a kid, he has a baby daughter, yeah. my niece and everything. So mm-hmm. I get it. I respect that. Um, Anthony, you know, he went to go on do another thing. He has his own pod. He has yeah. like a shoe head pod or, yeah. or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so he has that. So um, I guess he wanted to spread his wings and just focus on that. And, you know, because I kind of saw it coming. Because yeah, low key. before yeah. before before he, he the the whole when they left, mm-hmm. um, he was asking me questions. Yeah, like oh, <laughs> what do you use when you record doing this and this yeah, and that? Yeah, it's gonna give hints. So yeah, like yeah. come on, like I knew. Yeah, yeah, of course. But it's all good, you yeah, know. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure you do good. Uh, he has a lot of knowledge when it comes to sneakers, you know. Yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot of knowledge. That's man. his thing. Mm-hmm. So so um, shout out to Anthony, like doing his part, you know. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, that that's that. So um, maybe talk about the whole switching. Why did we switch? Maybe? Why did we switch? I guess we could kind of hit on that because it's not really too much context on what they're really asking. Um, um I think. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. I still have a cough, bro. I know you've been having cough since last year, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a long time. Um, no, the no tomas halls or what? No tomo qué? Halls. No, I have a halls. But do you think that's good drinking? Uh, vaporu, bro. Vaporu? Vaporu. Big cigar or what? And I got a ganta. Big cigar? What is that? 
That's what they call it. Like oh, yeah. VX, yeah. Oh, VX, yeah. <laughs> like it's a VCR. <laughs> what? <laughs> like the, the cassettes. Anyway, anyway, sorry about that. But the home leaving, um, it was time for a change, bro. Yeah, it was honestly. It was time for a change. It was a pretty far drive too. Yeah, it was in Lancaster. Mm-hmm. It's not with a far drive, well, bro. But know. this location is closer to our homes. Yeah, it's like yeah, pretty close. Yeah, it is much closer. So, mm-hmm. um, uh, yeah, it was just more of a. It was time for a change. Um, what's the next move of Shader Brown? Um, the homie Irvin, you know, he mentioned to me a few times. I think it was like twice. You know, like hey, like you know, want want to use the the space? Mm-hmm. You're more than welcome. But I never took up that took that offer. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I never took it. I think we we're just comfortable over there. It's I think because it was the timing. Yeah, it was the timing because because we were just freshly over there. <coughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to do things on our own. You know, yeah, basically. Of you're not. Yeah, but I guess uh, did you do it like more like a way to kind of prove yourself you could do it? You know, for, to prove myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. To prove myself because I wanted to learn. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> and in earth for you to learn, you gotta jump out the nest. You know? Exactly. Flap those wings. How? Like you're your baby chicken. You know. Make the sound. I think. Did they make it when they fall? I don't know. But now you're a guy. It's, it's not like it's not like. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not that. It's more like a bat, no? Are you a bat? It's wings. That's a wing sound. <laughs> no, but have you ever heard a bat fly across your, your head on top? You no, like what the heck? You sound like Where that? are you at? I went to Devil's Punch Bowl one day at night and I heard that. What are you doing at Devil's Punch Bowl at night? You know, I was with my brothers and my cousins. Yeah, I don't think you were there. No, I don't no, think so. Yeah, you would have remembered. Oh. But yeah, anyways. <laughs> 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 but yeah. <laughs> You need to prove yourself. You yeah, prove yourself. I wanted to prove myself. I wanted to... Because I had a crew. Yeah. It was me, Anthony, and my brother. So, mm-hmm. like, you know what? Let's just let's do it ourselves, you know? Yeah, yeah, at least for the time being. And, well, eventually, you know, things happen. And then I hit up Irvin, you know, and, you know, he was down, you know? Mm-hmm. And I'm very grateful for that. So, here we yeah. are. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. That's yeah. NGL number one. Number uno. Let's number one. So what's the other one? Let's see. How? Oh, basically the, the same, same one. How did you handle it when your other guys left the pod? No, wait. Well, this no, is kind of different. It's kind of different. How did you handle it? Look, <clears throat> I can't really talk too much because, like, that's you. Yeah, that, I think that's more towards me. Yeah. Well, maybe I could probably well, base yeah, 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 a little bit. Yeah. Um, the way I handled it is, um, I we had a meeting and everything. I don't want to get too in details, but like, I kind of knew what was gonna happen. Mm-hmm. So what I did is, um, I I like to prepare myself for the worst. Yeah, yeah. You know, to be ready. Mm-hmm. So I mentally and emotionally, I, I came to that meeting already prepared. Like, mm-hmm. I, que yo me iba a quedar solo. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I was yeah. going to end up by myself doing this pod. Mm-hmm. I had the mentality ready for that. I was ready mm-hmm. for that. If it if it happened. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, <clears throat> And that's how I handled it. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the, but the, for me, though, that's the way I handled it for me to, to prepare myself yeah, for of that. Yeah, mm-hmm. But, um, I mean, thankfully, Gilbert was still down to, to mm-hmm. stick around. Yeah. 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 Once I got there, I already knew what was going to happen. I was like, you know, I'm going to stay to show my support, you know? Yeah. So, uh, how did you handle it, bro? Me? Dude, to be honest, dude, when I when I saw I saw it coming, but at the same time, dude, I was like sad, bro. They with us. They with me out with it, bro. Not, not like me leaving the pod, but like me out with it because they were leaving the pod and like, you know, I just, I was like, damn, we had a lot of good memories, dude. Like, yeah. I feel like for me, it wasn't like, till this day, it's not a drag to come here. Um, and neither was it back then. Like, I, I was motivated to go because I was like, I'm going to go with the homies, those primos, you know, the, yeah. the homie Anthony. We're probably going to get a few chalas or even if there's no chalas, we still have a good time. Yeah. You know, we don't need to drink to have a good time. And like, I was mad with that, bro. I remember I went home and I was just quiet the whole time. <laughs> I was probably more sad than <laughs> You were more, more sad, sad at home? You? Oh, you were <laughs> like, I was like disappointed. More disappointed this guy was probably. I was crying on my way home. Like, this was emotionless, bro. <laughs> Why am I more sad than Ramon? Yeah, I remember that. I was like, I'm going to sleep. I was like, him. I wish I would come back. <laughs> you know? But yeah, yeah that's how I kind of took it, you know? 
Honestly. Ah, oh, pobrecito. Yeah. But uh, we're here. We're here, you know. Are you just going to keep saying that? Like, <laughs> oh, but we're here. Yeah, but we're here. We're here, guys. That's like the episode name now. <laughs> but, but we're, we're here. here. Yeah, that'll be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here. But yeah, that yeah. that's the way we handled it, uh, yeah. whoever asked that. Um, I became an alcoholic. You became an alcoholic to cope with the... The them leaving, you know, all yeah. abandoning us. And, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see what you did. You got into cocaine, though? Uh... I got into meth. Oh. Yeah. I was going to do meth, but I think alcohol is too much for me. Yeah, cocaine wasn't really doing it for me, so. Mucado, no? No, nah, it just wasn't enough. <laughs> was it wasn't <laughs> enough? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it wasn't enough. But yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> but uh, I don't, I, uh, I mean, this is a new space, so uh, I don't know if we're going to do break yet. It's just the first episode here. It's yeah, a new yeah. spot, so uh, kind of getting we're getting we're going on us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we're we're settling in still. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, man. That's that. That's how we handled it, bro. Yes, sir. Um, okay. So um, in other news, mm-hmm. um, I saw a video on TikTok mm-hmm. about there was like a hearing. I think like Mark Zuckerberg was there, the guy from the Facebook, mm-hmm. uh, the TikTok guy, um, the social media. There's like a group of like the 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 people, the, the owners. The, yeah. yeah, like like the guy behind um, Snapchat mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, he was there. It was like a group of them. Yeah, and um, I guess like it was a hearing. They're all attacking them, like. Um, there was like like some parents, like a group of parents, they were holding up like like pictures of their, I think it was their children, mm-hmm. and they were saying like, I think I heard about this too. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And like their kids were being exploited. Yeah, I think they're gonna give. Are you gonna talk about age restrictions now? Really? Yeah. <clears throat> is that what you're gonna get to? I mean, well, I was what I was gonna say is like, because one of the parent parents was uh, literally going after Mark Zuckerberg. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't really care about the guy, Mark Zuckerberg, but like, I kind of like low-key felt bad for him because the way they were attacking him, bro. Because the lady was like, oh, my kid, uh, the dude, no, the dude, he's like, oh, yeah, what do you have, what do you have to say for yourself? Like, like, uh, are you going to apologize to these people? What the apologize right now. What the Like hell? that. Yeah, dude. He was probably shaking. And then Mark Zuckerberg... The way he is, he's like, uh, 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 he didn't know what to do. Yeah, dude. And I think he apologized. Yeah, he got he he did it, bro. Look, man, he should have. He didn't have to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, because he can't control what kids do outside. There you go. He can't control none of that, dude. Yeah, you know. But yeah, I mean, I did hear about the age restriction because uh, my dad was watching like Univision. <laughs> 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 he was watching Univision, and I was just there eating, and like I was watching the TV. And uh, they're supposedly saying that for social media, every platform, they're going to do age restriction for those 16 and under. They can't, you know, get social media unless they get permission from the parents. So in, and in order for them to get permission, they got to do an ID. Like they got to show ID of the okay. parents or something. I'm, so, I'm, I'm with that. Yeah, I did. I think that kind of connects to what you're talking about with them, you know, get it at mm-hmm. Mark Zuckerberg because mm-hmm. of things happening with their kids and all that. Yeah. Because honestly, dude, nowadays, this generation of kids, like they're more op- open minded than we were in a ba- back then. So they do a lot of things with social media. They could get exploited. You know, they could uh, they do a lot of things. Yeah. You know, I think that's, that's why they're probably giving a, a, a age restriction. I don't know if they're going to pass it. I don't think they're going to do it. You know, uh, but I did hear on the, on on the news. Uh, I think like yesterday, two days ago, about the age limit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got. I think. Let's see. You got two. I think. You got two. So I got two videos that we could react to. Mm-hmm. Um, we're right here on the iPad. Let me put up the brightness. Can't put up the sound. So um um the first one is it's about what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. So let's let's play it real quick, playing right now. CEOs of Discord, Snap, TikTok, X, and Meta were called to Capitol oh. Hill Wednesday. In the room, scores of parents holding up photos of their oh, yeah, children, sure. some who they say died as a result of online sexual exploitation, bullying, mm-hmm. and harassment. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg was pressured by Republican Senator Josh Hawley to face the grieving families. Have you compensated any of the victims? Compensated. These girls, have you compensated them? I've 
don't believe so. <laughs> you, why not? Have you apologized <laughs> to the victims? I, would you like to do so now? Well, uh, show them the pictures. You know what to do. Do like. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for everything that you've all done. What is apologizing? Watching in the audience, Shauna Pouch from Vermont. She's raising her 11-year-old granddaughter, who she says was sexually exploited on Snapchat, sending her into a mental health crisis. Oh my God. I just mm -hmm. never thought. All right, I'm gonna stop it you there. Know, it's kind of getting me pissed off. <laughs> yeah, it, it, this video pisses me off. You know, like it's not the creators <clears throat> of this social media platform. It's not their fault. Like if they, if the kids, you know, exploited themselves, you know that. You know, it's kind of like I feel like it's kind of more like the parents' fault. They they didn't have no no that much careful. Mira, yeah, I I agree with you. It all and it will always mm -hmm. when it comes to a, a minor age of children under uh, under the same household, mm -hmm. and you have they have a guardian, an adult, or whatever. Mm -hmm. It will the responsibility for every single action that they do or whatever they go through will always fall on the parents. On the parent, yeah. If you have a child. On social media, and they're experiencing mental breakdowns, mental illness. Uh, they're being exploited or whatever. Bullied. That's not their fault. That is your fault as a parent. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you're, if you're giving this child a phone, or a tablet, or iPad, whatever, a computer, mm -hmm. those things all have access to the internet. Yeah. And the internet. It's crazy. It is. It can man. get crazy. Very crazy. It does not discriminate. It will not. It has no chill. Mm -mm. So it's very easy for a child, especially at the age of what 11, 12, 13, yeah, to be dude. exploited because they're innocent. They don't. Mm -hmm. They're they, they can easily be manipulated, tricked, easily, or whatever. Yeah. Very easily. Yeah. And as a parent, as a guardian. Mm -hmm. Remember that word, guardian, is your job to guard yeah. and protect that child. Yeah, because they could always take that away from them, the tablets, the <clears> phones. <throat> there you go. You know, you could take everything, all that away from them. But, like, now I feel like now these parents are, like, a little too scared to kind of, you know, show their kids that they're in charge, you know? Yeah. So that's why they let them, you know, and, and that's why they continue using social media, even if they do get bullied or harassed or exploited. Like, yeah, you know, it all comes down to the, the parent, you know, kind of be tough on their kids, you know? Yes, sir. You know, you don't want that. If they're getting bullied, what's bullying them? People on the internet, so take that shit away. Yeah, man. You know? Yeah, so that, 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 that but I thought it was funny oh. that they made Mark Zuckerberg. That apologize. is funny. Like, why would you make someone? He was like, I know, he looked all nervous. <laughs> and I was like, he was like, you probably thought this was stupid too. Like, okay, why am I going to apologize? You know? Yeah. He was forcing him to nah, apologize. He, he was pressured to apologize. Yeah, you could tell. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? But he didn't yeah. have to. Mark Zuckerberg should have stood his ground. He's like, mm -hmm. why do I have to apologize? Exactly. You know, I didn't do anything. Mm -mm. You know? Yeah. At the end of the day, man. Parents, man. Kids. Yeah. I'm not seeing tarazos, you know? You know what? Bring back the los cintarazos. Los cintarazos Bring those cintos, back, bro. Honestly, we a need veces them. esos niños they need it. They need it. Yeah, they need unos unas buenas. Mm -hmm. Do you think you'll spend your kids in the future? Hell yeah, yeah. I was hoping you said that, dude. Are you? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, if I got spanked, they're getting spanked. A huevo, a huevo, dude. It worked on me. Hell yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Hell no, man. That was loud. That was loud. <laughs> he turned it down. <laughs> We're going to have to do sign language from now. <laughs> yeah, dude. But definitely the Cintos coming out, man. Yeah. Um, it sucks, man. It's just like internet, man, social media. Yeah, it gets very, very tricky. Mm -hmm. This is this hot take. Mm -hmm. This is a hot take right now. My personal opinion, I think internet slash social media, whatever you want to call it, did more damage than good. Yeah, no, I believe that too, hundred percent. You you agree with me? I agree. Really? Yeah, social media does a lot more damage than good. Mm. You know. Mm. Okay. That's an example right there. The video. Yeah. You know. Yeah, exploitation, bro. And I feel like that age restriction <clears throat> should come to effect. That I, I didn't know that. Yeah, I was watching Univision. You know, yeah. unless they're lying about it. But <laughs> my dad was like, "Mira," and I was like, uh, "They were saying that los diecisiete años." Lo que te dije. <laughs> Yeah, but I I feel like they they got to do that, man. He was like, "Dame tu teléfono, cabrón." A ver, ¿qué estás mirando? Papá, pero tengo 27. No importa, güey. Vale, vale. Ay. 
Yeah. <laughs> he spanks me and I go to my room. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but yeah, man. That, that's crazy, dude. Yeah. yeah. I did have another video, but I don't even want to watch it anymore. It's going to piss me off. Though. Hey, put it. You want to hear it? You I want to hear it? I want to watch it. All right, it, then. Let's know? go away, then. Let's go. All right, then. It's, it's the other one. It's like based on kind of the same thing? The same thing, basically. Uh, hearing on social media was a train wreck. I don't know if this is when TikTok was hearing. It's, let's see. Let's see. Mm. I don't know. I might cut this out. Okay. The clips that came from the Congress hearing over social media are probably some of the most painful clips I've ever had to watch in my life. Like if you've seen any of the clips, it's just every congressman saying, why didn't you stop my kid from seeing something I didn't want them to see? Mm. Like the whole time they're pointing at the oh, CEO no, 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 saying, hey, you let a kid see a message they didn't like. You let them see a video that maybe they shouldn't have seen at that age. But it seems like isn't that the parent's responsibility? Yeah, like exactly. How can parents give their kids one of these when they're three years old and suddenly act surprised that they're case accessing things on the internet which they gave them unrestricted access to? I 100% believe that giving a kid access to social media at a young age causes negative effects. Mm -hmm. But it's not tech CEOs' jobs to figure out if your kid who you gave an iPad to made an account saying they were 18 mm -hmm. when they're actually exactly. 8. The whole hearing felt like lazy parents mad that the internet didn't parent their kids like mm -hmm. they would have wanted them to. And there are definitely issues that need to be talked about with social media. But the people of Congress are so out of touch with social media and how it truly works that nothing important actually gets talked about. All it is is just them complaining. Exactly. If there are major okay. issues with kids growing up with unrestricted access to social media, which there are, the only person to blame is the parents for not there actually watching mm -hmm. over what their you know kids what? have access to. This video didn't piss me off. It didn't piss me off. Calm down. It calmed me down. Calmed me down. Yeah. yeah. He's right, dude. <laughs> you know? I thought it was going to piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah. I was going to punch that tablet. Yeah. Right yeah, dude. Dude, if if I were to an adult, I mean, I'm an adult, but if I had kids, I think I'd be the type of parent, even if it seems controlling or, or whatever. Like, I think I'll look into their 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 phones or tablets like every other day, dude, just to make sure what's going on. Yeah, but they, they like their mentality is very important. This is probably what I would do. Mm -hmm. I would, I would tell probably my kids like I want to trust you. Mm -hmm. Like, trust me, I do. Like, I want to trust you. Yeah, yeah it's funny that sounds. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> trust me, I, I want to trust, trust you. you. Trust me, man. <laughs> I want to trust you, but I just can't. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I'll give my kid the opportunity. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. Sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll purposely, I'll give my kid uh, the opportunity to to show me yeah, that I can trust them. Mm -hmm. You know, but they screw up. You know, pues valió, valió madre. You know, <laughs> madre. You know, <laughs> okay, pues. Okay, obviously I can't trust you. Yeah. You know, they're messing up, you know, and I mean on the causes they they shouldn't be looking at, you yeah, know. Yeah. Um or or there's someone following them that's a little weird. Like, yeah, hey, why like is this freaking adult or adult old guy you know? or woman, whatever, yeah. like following you? Mm -hmm. What the hell? Like that. So that will give me a sign. It's like obviously at you need supervision. Yeah, of course. So yeah. So um I'll I'll check in time to time. Mm-hmm. Until yeah, like I start seeing like oh, there's there's nothing to to be uh, alarmed by yeah. whatever is going on in in their phones or tablets or computers or whatever, mm -hmm. and then I'll start to back off. You know, I'm like okay, yeah. they, they my kids learning. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I think that's why you, you also got to show your <laughs> kids. Uh, you also got to show your kids at a very young age to kind of value themselves. And respect themselves because if you don't show them that, then that's how they end up being exploited or harassed on online. Yeah. You know? You got to really teach them in a young age that they're worth more and they shouldn't just throw themselves out there like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You know, I, I kind of put myself in a lot. Like, I could see it happening because I have... I have nieces, you know, all my brother's uh, daughters, uh, they, they just have daughters. That's it. Bro, you have, you have, have nothing but nieces. Only nieces, That's only crazy. girls. Yeah. I mean, me too. I only have one. Yeah, you only though. have one niece. I yeah. One. Yeah, I have three three nieces in total. And um, I think that's why it kind of gets me more pissed off that the parents let that happen. Because I kind of, you know, kind of put myself and kind of put them in that shoes. Like, what if that were to happen to my nieces? Like, how would I react? I mm. don't know. Mm. I think that's why I was heated. <laughs> you were heated. I was heated. Yeah. See. You you were the Theo. I was a Theo. The yeah. mad Theo. The mad Theo, man. That was me. 
<laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, but the other video calms down, man. We're we're good now. We're good. We're good. We're, we're good. good. Yeah. But uh, well, you guys let us know what you guys think about that, you know? Yeah. Uh, what, what, are, what are you your take on that about the whole social media dilemma? Yeah, let us know. Do you check up on your on your kids, those that have a kid mm -hmm. that are around the age of maybe between ten and fifteen, sixteen? Yeah, around there, you know, check up on them, mm -hmm. and you know. Sometimes maybe you might get surprised what you yeah, see. Honestly, dude, you know it sucks. Yeah, it does. It sucks, bro. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, we're here. We're. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's uh, the twelfth. We're here so far in this episode. <laughs> yeah, we're. Here. Every time I say we're here, I should take a sip of. Oh, uh, we're. <laughs> yeah, I should take a sip of this. But uh, yeah, man. yeah. So we 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 never stop. We're always gonna keep grinding with this episode, bro. Mm -hmm. With this pod. Podcast, Shade yeah. of Brown continues, bro. You know, yes, yes. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Porque somos, Porque somos gallos. <laughs> somos gallos. <laughs> Just like the logo. It's the logo, yeah. Like I, lo the... I love that logo, man. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, dude, man. But, you know, uh, damn, dude. You know, now that we're here at this location, I, you know. What? No, I don't know. I just blinked out for a second. You blinked out? Yeah, first, I don't know why. It's all alcohol on you. It's all alcohol, bro. Just stay away. I'm not alcohol. I'm not <laughs> Stay away. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, um, I mean, you know, got anything else to say? Mm -hmm. Well, I do want to say rest in peace, Carl Weathers. Oh. You know, you know who that is? The guy from the black dude, right? <laughs> The black dude from uh, Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. The black dude with the from... hand, the wooden hand. Yeah, the wooden. <laughs> <laughs> it fell down the the, the window. Yeah. He taped it up and got it back on. Yeah. Yeah. Carl Weathers passed away yesterday, February first. Yeah, dude. He was my favorite actor. Like I think I first found out about him on Rocky, the Rocky Balboa, the the, the Sylvester Stallone films. Mm. That's when I first saw him. Then Happy Gilmore, then so on. But yeah, I just want to say rest in peace, Carl Weathers, man. He's a good actor, man. That's gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, well, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a drink for, yeah, for, for him. For Carl Weathers. Rest in peace. Hey, wait. Anyway. Too strong for you? I think I put a little bit too much. Yeah. But it feels a little bit balanced, feels almost balanced. at the same time. Yeah. Maybe I'm just being a little pussy or yeah, whatever. I, think, I don't yeah, know. I think you are. But uh, yeah. Uh, I got nothing else to say, bro. Yeah. I pretty much said everything I wanted to this say. This is more like an intro to our new spot. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. This is an intro. I uh, can't wait to when we have a guest over, see how it goes, you know, mm -hmm. whatever it is, bro. So um, we out here. Shader Brown Shader continues. Brown. Yeah. Thank you for listening. This is a short episode. Short episode, yeah. I think so. Yeah. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. But uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I did that, bro. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Say something to the to the to the listeners you know, and viewers. Listeners, say something nice. Okay, I love you guys. You know, thank you for your support. Yeah, thank you for a follow. If you have friends that you know like listening to podcasts, them to follow us. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, the good vibes here, man. Good vibes. Well, thank you guys. You know, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, sir. You know, and yeah. Sheesh. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yes, sir. We'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Shoo!